All right, it's Dave Bennett, still October 8, <laughs> 2015. I'm going to start talking through these profit topics. And again, the whole point is this. These are to understand basic concepts uh, clearly so that as we get into larger concepts or thinking in terms of growth, you can follow along pretty easily. So let me just start with profit topic number one. Here's the idea. Profit model number one, topic number one. A growth pattern, okay, this is do it yourself or we do it for you. Okay, it's up to you. So if you're starting from nothing, we're going to talk about the concept. For phase one, we're going to build the foundation. Then phase two, we're going to create expansion pages on the website to make it much larger. So we're going to create a small website, five to ten pages, that's really, really hot. Top quality coding, modern, everything done right, great pitch. Then we're going to uh, improve upon it. We're going to make it large so we have a page for every different keyword. Okay. And that means long tails and short tails that apply to every geography. By the way, for those P, those of you who associate long tails with too little visitor traffic, that's true if you're only aiming for one or two or three long tails. But if you're going for lots and lots of long tails at once, that's entirely different. What if every page only gets a visitor a month, but you have a thousand pages? Well, that's a thousand visitors a month. And if they're longer tails, they're high quality traffickers, right? Because they are quite related. They are really, anyone typing that far in to be the one visitor a month is very serious about what they're looking for. And for those who really haven't grasped that, here's a simple idea. I want to find Forex software. So I go type in Forex to Google. Guess what? I get the book, Forex. I get Daytech. I get Ameritrade. I get everything. Everything. No, no, no. I want more of a you know smaller program than that. All right, fine. Forex software. I still get the book, Daytech and Ameritrade. They all have downloadable Forex software. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, Forex software, downloadable program, you know, and I and, and now I'm starting to see some different varied results. And now I'm looking for something more guaranteed. So I add something like two pips per day or two pips daily. Okay, now there we go. Forex software, downloadable program, or whatever I was thinking to type. Forex program downloadable software or Forex download software, you know, Forex download program, uh, two pips per day, two pips daily, two pips each day, uh, what, or, or, you know, five pips a week or half a pip a day. What do I know? Uh, people are going in different directions. There's all these tree branching directions people go in. That's why there aren't many hits, but they are very closer and closer and closer to the buy. Finally, I wanted an affiliate program or a reseller program. So I'm going to put that in too. Uh, Forex downloadable software, two pips daily affiliate program or affiliate um, group or reseller program or system or group. And guess what? Now I'm seeing a few results and those few really, really close to what I'm looking for. Chance, chances are incredibly good. I'm going to buy from one of those. Okay. Now, if you do that with thousands of keywords, so longer tail keywords, two things happen. One, you actually do get sales okay, from good people who did not misunderstand what you were selling. Okay? So you're not going to have refunds, all right, by and large. Can't speak for everyone. I'm just speaking generally. Okay, second thing is when you want Google to show you for the short tails, you can't just hit them head on and expect to barrel through to the top. You've got a brand new website. You've got to prove to Google you have fodder or content that surrounds that short tail theme. So one of the best ways to win the short tail is to go long tail surrounding the topic, several pages that relate, and some short tail pages so that Google realizes you do do that too. That's part of the mix. So it must be that these long tails work with the short tail because it's all together. It's one big hole. Okay, and you do that side by side. What happens is you win the longer tail first, and then you start to win the shorter tail. The the stories go on forever. We've got them going back for years and years. And they're always the same, uh, but I'll just keep moving forward. <laughs> and then finally, now that you make a really big site, so first you made a good foundational site, five to ten pages. Then you expand it some however many thousand pages. Okay, page for every geo-targeted keyword or whatever you have. Okay, and then you need to still connect that website to the rest of the internet. If you don't, what do you have? You have a very large website sitting completely alone in cyberspace, way off in the dark somewhere, near nothing else. 
near no other website, meaning near no other stars. Okay. No bright light shining on that star. That star's not shining on anyone else either. All right. If you have some dim little, even if it's a massive website, if it's all alone in cyberspace, no one's talking about it, it's not going to rain. Okay. Google's not going to rank you because you show up in the Google index. It's going to rank you uh, because you have other websites mentioning you. And again, just real quick, what does that mean? Citations, directories, forum posts, backlinks anywhere, uh, as well as whatever review websites, if you want them. Um, in, and then beyond that, sites you create yourself create link juice. So if you create other websites, you are creating your own link juice. Okay, so you use that link just to share with the sites you want to rank better. Okay, and doing those two together uh, is incredibly important because when you link to some of your sites, that Google's going to reward that site for being linked to it becomes the master. Okay, the other websites are linking to it effectively referral websites. We also say master slave, which is a relative term. Because slaves have their own slaves who have their own slaves. If we do tiered backlinking, it's really interesting to, to think through models like that. So you can have a website backlink, a website that backlinks a website, that backlinks a website, that backlinks a website. You get this long strand of connected websites. So that's one way to go. Or you can have, using those same 10 websites, say, uh, one website can be sitting there and three can backlink it. Okay. And then you've got two backlink each of those three. So two backlink the first, another two backlink the next, another two backlink the next. Guess what? That's six plus three plus one. It formed a pyramid, right? Looks like an MLM program or something. <laughs> six plus three plus one. So one at the top with three with two, two, and two. That's your 10 websites. That's also tiered backlinking. That's strong as well. Which is better? It's not that simple. Okay. But the reality check is it tends to be better to do it in a pyramid shape. You could, though, you could have nine websites all backlink to one. And you can even have websites share. One website can backlink another one next to it and also backlink the master. While the one next to it backlinks another website and also backlinks the master. Okay, that's where we just get into fun little games of, wow, you know, let, let's explore all the options Reality check is there are several ways to do it right. They all work very well. We'll decide with you strategy-wise what you want to do, okay? Because that also comes back to um, are all the forms you need people to fill out on one website. Then maybe you need a link to the one website from all the other websites, and that's already it. The link's kind of hidden in the form. It just simply means click here to be taken to the form to fill out. Well, guess what? That's a backlink. <laughs> so maybe that's all we need to do. Okay, so it really comes down to the project we're doing. And that's why there's money involved because this is a project that's custom for people. Okay, let me come back down to this though because this is pretty basic. Okay, build a five to ten page website, then create a bunch of pages on it. Okay, and then connect it somehow to the rest of the internet, either by creating more websites and putting lots of pages on them that backlink the first website okay or do other things get into google my business put yourself in yellow pages merchant circle 411 yelp and elsewhere okay so what are costs getting the website done in the first place you need a few things not many a godaddy domain name hosting a panel and at least one template and so let me just show you what that looks like real, real fast. Okay, if you were coming here to the website store, then you'd start by picking and choosing a template. You might say, ooh, which template do I want? You might just go, ah, I want that one. I'm going to buy it. Okay, now, David, I need to get in a business. What do I need to get? This line reminds you, okay, minimum first order is just $1.99. What's that really mean? You need a GoDaddy domain name, hosting, panel, and a template. So go to GoDaddy and buy the domain name. Everything else is down below, okay? $50 option for hosting is in here. First, choose your template. It's one of these. And then either we're putting it on an existing panel or a new panel. Here's the first you're hosting, okay? And then if you need a new panel, it's here, all right? 
Is that it? Yeah. You got your domain name, hosting, panel, and template. That's it. Then when you're done and you decide to come back and expand, all you do is buy more templates. And if you want us to change images, we can do that. If you want us to change the content, the copywritten content, we can do that. If you want us to um, do other things, we can do that. There's just all this kind of thing we can do. Um, and that's what you see this is for, of course. And, of course, those of you who are resellers, you have this entire thing to yourself. Okay, all the different things that can be offered. All right, there you go. There you go. So it's not hard to figure out what we're doing here. All right. And that's pretty much it. So it, it would take you about three hours and 199 bucks, and you have your website built. Five to ten page websites done. Okay. That's basically it. Okay. Then what? Expanding it. That'll take you maybe three hours, especially your first time around because you're all thumbs, right? Half of that is just watching the videos in the first place to learn them. It's about an hour and a half of uh, videos on YouTube for learning how to do it. Then once you know how, you don't need to do this anymore. That's why it says just need to do it once. So after that, this will only be an hour and a half because you'll understand how to do it. Okay. And so anyway, that doesn't cost anything extra. Creating all those extra pages costs nothing. Okay. Now, connecting them to the website. Well, the costs sort of vary or it's nothing. You just go look for places to put your website that are good places that cost nothing. Most Big places online don't cost anything. You can just go get an account and list yourself in it. Take a little time and effort. It might take you two to, you know, like four and a half hours uh, to do the sort of thing we're suggesting right here. Okay. And yeah, that will drive invisible link juice into all the pages. So let me just wrap up. Creating the website puts you in the game. Creating a whole lot of pages gives you a keyword spread. Okay, keyword spread. That means you can show up for a lot more keywords because you have a lot more pages, page per keyword. Okay, long tail, short tail, geo-targeted if it applies. And then, fun, but but page spread isn't about rank yet. It's just about the possibility that you can show up for those keywords. You're there. You're just probably on page four or five, keyword by keyword, most of them. So how do you raise that? By finally driving some link juice into your site, which will flood through all your pages, which will make you rise on all your keywords, which drives them up from four to three to two to one. Okay. And so first you need the keyword spread so you can show up for them. You can only show up for the key, you know, the keywords that you have pages for. Okay. Uh, if I'm selling plumber services, I will not show up for Mother's Day flowers. Right? Because nothing on my website says Mother's Day flowers. Just plumbing service. I will not show up for roofing services. I can only show up for the plumbing services that I have pages for. Okay. Where I'm using the words on the pages and the pages are, you know, kind of focused around those keywords. Okay. And so the final way to make sure now that I have that set up, the spread, the final way to make it happen is to drive the link juice in to the website. So again, either I do it by going through other places, Merchant Circle, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Google, or, and or, this is an and or actually, I create other websites of my own that I use to create lots of extra pages on that I use to backlink my original one. And again, we're back to our tiered backlinking models. Okay, so there you go. There's profit topic number one. Okay, some of these I'm going to be able to do two, three, four in a recording, but I'm trying to keep them uh, short so that you have time to digest what we went through. So what I'd say now, just kind of like glance through and reread this, make sure you get this down. We did cover it. Uh, and then let's move on to the next profit topic. Okay, this stuff will, will add up and get more exciting as we go. Okay.